Yum, yum. Greg here from Pixel Fondue. And did you forget, or maybe you didn't know, that you can also use modeling falloffs for item transforms. And it's really handy for animation sometimes. So imagine I'm animating a bunch of audio faders, right? So shift W to uh, set a keyframe at frame zero and move ahead a little bit. And if I want to animate these all at once, I can do that with falloffs instead of doing it one by one. So I just go up to falloffs like I would if I were modeling, and I can select linear. You want to make sure select through is off, and that's your in item mode, of course, because we're manipulating items here. And uh, make sure select through is off, because if you right click with it on, it's going to try to select things for you. But with it off, you can just activate your move tool, W, and there you got your fall off right there. And I can, of course, right click now and rearrange that however I want to. And now it's working with uh, transform. So whoops, just make sure I stay on one axis here. So I move them all up, I can go to another frame and uh, maybe right click my fall off again and uh, move these guys up over here and maybe go to another frame or select another fall off like say a centrilical. And let me just sort of widen that out a bit and then move these down. And of course with the fall off active, I can move the fall off while the transform tool is active and so I could get these, you know, mess around with it that way. Get them like I want it, double tap escape, and then drag through my animation. There, I just animated a bunch of audio sliders, right? And that's faster than doing it one by one at a time. So boom, time saver. You can also do it with um, when using a, animating a lot of items at once. So this is just a shattered um, sphere, but you can imagine if I had to animate all this stuff at once, it'd be a huge pain. But with fall offs, I can just shift W to set a key and have a key at zero, shift W, then we'll move forward to uh, frame 92. And again, let's do a fall off. I'll probably do radial. Actually, let's do a, yeah, we could do centrilical. Um, in the animation layout, you don't see the tool properties. And because these modeling fall offs are really modeling tools, you won't see their properties by default. So if you press K for a hotkey, you can do this in another layout like setup as well. But if you press K, it'll bring up the uh, tool properties hotkey and just make sure we're in the, you can change your uh, fall off axis there. So I'm going to Y, right click. I can change my, whoops, get my Y fall off, Y axis again. So here's my radio fall off right here. And again, just uh, selecting the transform tool by pressing W, I can pull this sphere apart, right? And so we just move the fall off around in real time. Maybe I just want this part here moved. And again, like this would be a huge pain if we were doing it one by one. By one. But with a fall off, it's actually a pretty cool way to animate. Go back here and uh, double tap escape. Select frame one, control C, control V, copy that over to frame 120. And I've got a little animation. Boom, boom, right? Double tap escape, you can see that there, boom, boom. So this would be, that would be sort of a pain in the butt to do if you weren't using fall off. So it's pretty cool. You can also use it for some uh, random variation. Here I have a bunch of Tauruses, is, is, my favorite primitive. And again, let's do fall off. And this time I'm gonna do noise. So I have a noise fall off. Select all your Tauruses first, <laughs> and then shift R, move, move ahead. And with noise active, I can scale these. You'll notice that um, I'm getting some random variation in here because I have the noise fall off on. So pretty cool, right? That would have been a big pain in the butt to do one at a time. So modeling fall offs on items while animating. Nice little tip. Yum, yum.